Hi, what we're going to do now is do a simple demo of putting in some buttons here and explaining how multiple buttons can be um, directed to one piece of code. So to do that, I shall go to my view and find my toolbox. And I'll go to the uh, WPF All Controls. And I'm going to pop in a couple of buttons here. Well, that's a small button. I'll do some control C, control V, copy and pasting here. Um, create two buttons at once. What I'll do is uh, left click, drag across, control C, click off, control V, drag my new copies. Now I have four buttons. That's great. And what I'm going to do now is go back to my toolbox. I'll pin the thing up here. Actually, I'll bring the thing over there. No. Here. Now, let's see if I can get it right on the same. There we go. So there's my toolbox. And there are my tools. Great. Now I'm going to go to my um, properties window. All right. Since I can only look at one thing at a time, I'm going to put the property window and toolbox together like this. And here, each one of these things is called a button. There's button, button one. Looks like there's another button in there. Let's get rid of that button. Goodbye button. There's a button. Here's a button. There's a button. So I got my buttons. This one has no name. Well, we'll fix it later. So I'm going to give this a button. I'll call it B1. So now it has an official code name, B1. It's an object with a name. I'll call this one B2. It's got a name. I'll call this one B3. And this button, I'll give it a name, B4. Notice it's not the content. Content, it just says button. This content has nothing in it. So I'll call that button. Button. So now I have these three objects. I can patiently wait for this thing to compile. My computer is pretty fast here at home. And then I'm clicking, not going anywhere because there's no code associated for this thing. Um, I have a full system installed here. So when I click anything, it's telling me what's going on. I don't want to see any diagnostics at the moment. End that program. There, end it. Done. OK. So now I want this thing to respond. And as we know, we go back to our properties. Here's our properties. And instead of, now I'm having this wrench. Actually, I mean, these are basically variables, are things that we can change. If I go to the lightning bolt here, that's an action. These are all the actions. If someone presses a key, the key is up. I press a key, the key is down. Press the key is up. I can have this button respond. Um, is focus, got focus. Uh, let's see, drag over. That is, if I move my uh, mouse over it, notice it's dragging over, it's glowing. I can have it do something at that point too, instead of waiting for it to click. But as traditionally, we like clicking. So I'll call it button. Click. Boom, button click. There it is, button click. And nothing happens there. So I'm going to go to this one here, and I'm going to call it button click. And I'm going to copy that, Control A, Control C, button click, oops, button click, button click, button click, oops, clicks oops. gently, button click. So now all of them will come right here. And I can prove that 
and I can, well, who's going to, how do I know the sender is going to be that thing, that object? So I could say button. There's an object called button. There it is. That's the symbol that there's an object and it has things you can do with it. Button. And I'll call it B for button. And button will equal the sender. If I could spell sender. Now, the sender is just a generic object. What I have to do is make sure that it looks like a button, so I'll tell the compiler look at it, look at the sender as though it were a button. So now I actually know the button has been sent here. So I can say B, whoever you are, let's change its content. content and have it just say hello to us. Oops, missing an equal sign there. There we go. So B is an object. It is a button object. And inside the button object there's a string variable called content. And I can set it equal to the word hello. Now, compile this program and run it. Now I have these buttons up here. When I click on a button, this button, when I clicked on it, went in here. The sender was this button. It said, hey, the object that got me here was button number two. It took the sender, converted it so it looks like a button. It was a button. So now B says, OK, B, you're a button. Inside buttons, there's this variable called content. Set it equal to hello. When I click this button, hello, 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 I could do that. So I have this ability to identify the sender of, of, uh, of a click. So I'll pause right here for you to um, replicate this and get it working, and then we'll go on to uh, another phase.